Next, a woman from Taunton says her car tyres have been ripped apart four times by potholes in as many months. Today is National Pothole Day. It's an event started five years ago by campaigners who wanted to raise awareness of the problem. Now, here in the southwest, £140 million was spent repairing them in a single year, and they caused more than £50,000 worth of damage. Sophie Linham says the damage to her car all happened on the same road as well. Uh, Sangeet Talal in Taunton for us this evening. Sangeeta, uh, potholes pretty much a pain for everyone, aren't they? They really are, John. Here is something many motorists have to deal with on an almost daily basis, and that's certainly the case for anyone driving here in Staple Grove, just outside of Taunton. Around this roundabout and along this stretch of the A358s, there are several potholes scattered along. But Somerset County Council says last year it invested almost £25 million in trying to improve road surfaces here. And since 2010, it says that the number of potholes across the county has reduced by about 10,000. But that's still leaving plenty across the county. And as I've been hearing earlier, they're still causing plenty of damage to motorists' cars. Well, I had absolutely no idea it was there. And I was just getting out of the way of the other car. And then it suddenly just went bang. They appear overnight and they are massive. You know, and you, you can't really avoid them. So how much damage have potholes actually caused your car? Um, well, it's about four, four tyres now in the past three, four months. Um, and each, each tyre just has a massive hole in it, massive rip, and you cannot even fix it. You just have to get a brand new tyre. Frustrating. Very frustrating. Sophie drives on West Charlton Road in Somerset every day for work. But over the past three months, she spent more than £300 repairing her car after driving through potholes. I don't really want to keep having to spend money on, on something that's not really my fault. I can't really avoid the way I'm driving. I'm driving as best as I can. And she isn't the only person who's concerned about potholes across the county. Your front wheel goes down a pothole and you're... Your toast, as it were. Something you're quite conscious of? Oh, yes, so I, I avoid them as we can, but sometimes if they're underwater in a puddle, you've had it and you're off. Especially with running as well, you're always conscious of flooding when you're running through flooded areas. Yeah, yeah, and do you think the council are doing enough to fix potholes? It's a big task. Mm. I could, uh, obviously, they're not doing enough because they're not satisfying us, but how can they do enough? That's the thing. Well, along this stretch of the A358 in Taunton, potholes are a pretty consistent problem, but what you might notice is many motorists habitually avoid them because they know where they're going to turn up. But that isn't always an option across other parts of the county. On more rural single track lanes, there is no alternative but to drive through them. The big problem is the outlining villages and the roads to and from uh, towns. They're single track roads and what happens is the edges of the roads are completely deteriorated. So you try and avoid a pothole in the end running run aground to the side of the road and causing even more damage. It's a weekly basis that cars are coming in, probably three or four cars a week with damage to the wheels, to the suspension, coil springs. It's all down to uh, ill-maintained roads. We're completely fed up because it's difficult to run a car, it's expensive, insurance etc. It costs them a lot of money. Somerset County Council says it's invested in hundreds of highway maintenance schemes and has filled 98% of potholes within its target response time. But while these continue to be a familiar sight, it's not filling road users of Somerset with too much hope yet. Sangeeta Lal, ITV News.